students. So this is your midterm two study guide for microbiology. The bacterial colony. When bacteria cells are grown in a petri dish like the one shown here, they are grown on auger. One single bacteria cell will reproduce using binary fission and they will give rise to an entire colony. A colony are made up of genetic, genetically identical bacteria cells that are all generated from a single parent cell. Bacteria have specific requirements for growth like all living things. The process of metabolism requires these three things, a source of carbon, a source of energy, and a source of electrons or hydrogen atoms. There are four classes of organisms based on what they use as a source of carbon and what they can metabolize for energy. We've got photoautotrophs, chemoautotrophs, photoheterotrophs, and chemoheterotrophs. When we're looking at these terms, it's best to look at the classifications by breaking down the words individually. For example, each of these terms begins with either photo or chemo. So here is the rule. The first word is going to define that organism's energy source. The word photo means light, as in sunlight. This means that organisms classified as photoautotrophs or photoheterotrophs are going to use sunlight or photons, which are packets of light energy, as their energy source. The word chemo means chemical, but for our purposes, I want you to think of chemo more specifically as organic chemical compounds. When you see the prefix chemo on these terms, I want you to know that these are your chemoautotrophs and your chemoheterotrophs. These are going to use organic chemical compounds as their energy source. Um, these would be your proteins, lipids, and carbohydrates. Next, let's look at the second word that we see in these, um, in these classifications. <clears throat> we see that each of these terms either has auto or hetero in the middle of it. So here's the rule again. The first word is going to define the energy source for that class of organisms. The second word is going to define the carbon source for that class of organisms. The word auto means self. These are your autotrophs. We know that these make their own food. They do not need to consume organic matter like heterotrophs do. So organisms that are classified as photoautotrophs and chemoautotrophs will use inorganic chemical compounds like carbon dioxide as their carbon source. The word hetero means other. These are your heterotrophs, which means eat other, but you can think of it as consuming organic matter in order to live. So this means that your photoheterotrophs and your chemoheterotrophs must consume organic molecules in order to use them for their carbon source. And remember, when I talk about um, organic molecules, we're referring to proteins, lipids, and carbohydrates.
When we're talking about bacteria growth, it's important to look at some of the trends of the growth curve that we see here. When we analyze bacteria growth, it's uh, really convenient to analyze it according to uh, graphing um, the number of bacteria versus uh, time. And when you do this, you create what's called a growth curve, like we see here. The growth curve has four different distinct phases. The lag phase, the log phase, or exponential phase, the stationary phase, and finally, the death phase. In the lag phase, the lag phase of the growth curve is generated because the bacteria need a little bit of time to adjust to their new environment. The cells will not undergo binary fission until they've sufficiently adapted to their new habitat. In the log or exponential phase of the growth curve, here is where we see the maximal amount of growth for that bacteria. We also call this the active growth phase. The stationary phase of the growth curve is going to be a time in which the exponential phase or log phase basically levels off. Um, so what's happening here is we're beginning to see evidence that space is running out, nutrients might be running out, um, also toxins can be building up in the culture that we're housing these um, uh, organisms in. So what will happen is we'll end up, um, the log phase or exponential phase will give way to what we call the stationary phase. In the stationary phase, the bacteria cell number it remains relatively constant. This means as many um, cells are dying as, ma as many cells are um, as being created. So the population stays fairly constant during this brief period of time. We do see, though, that this uh, doesn't last forever because <clears throat> given enough time, you will definitely see a depletion of nutrition, um, a depletion of space, um, an extreme buildup of toxins, and you will no longer be able to, um, to have life in that culture. And um, at that time, you'll end up with more cells dying than being produced and you will end up with uh, this death phase. And the death phase will continue until um, all the bacteria have died. Okay, so next let's get into um, the, um, our genetics. Um, so there are two functions of DNA, regardless of the organism in which it is found. DNA has an autocatalytic function, which means that it directs its own synthesis, and it also has a